All right, I am back, YouTube. I was going to show you quickly how we powder coat cups. Um, they're just the little tumbler cups here. This is a wine glass, actually. We do a lot of the 30-ounce, 20-ounce ones. We customize them for people. Um, but basically, we built our own rack here out of an oven rack. We welded on some angle iron, um, used some different size washers welded together to make these plates. And then we use high temp tape, um, tape off the base. That's just to prevent buildup. Um, so your tape, your knife to cut the tape, and then some foil here. Those are kind of key for doing these things. Um, we use a foil and kind of expand it on top of the stud so that the cup makes contact with it, um, which is attached to our ground. Um, and then our, obviously our powder is charged, so that's what sucks it into the cup. Here we already sprayed one. Uh, we're going to show you how we do this. Basically, I'm going to get the cup on the plate, and then we're going to remove all these items. I'll put the camera down here, and we'll do a powder coat session here so you can kind of see what it looks like. We are using, again, the Eastwood gun. Um, we've got the cup pre-wiped down with, um, we use pre-clean, we do a lot of wheel repair painting here, so we use pre-clean, but you can use acetone. That's, that's pretty popular with powder coaters. Um, again, remember, there is a ground on this box, but we use our ground in the booth because it's just easier. Um, we've got our button here, which charges the gun, and then I've got just a little bit of powder in here, so you'll see me shaking it a lot to get it stirred up so that it, it flows better. Hopefully we got enough to cover this cup. But what we do is once you get the button pushed, you want to make sure that you're um, triggered. You don't need to open it all the way or you're just going to blow powder everywhere. We track it just a little, as you can see, um, and the powder starts laying down really nice. Uh, we kind of use sweeping passes to put it on evenly. Um, the more you powder cut, the more you'll um, kind of find your own rhythm. As you can see on the bottoms here, it becomes really hard to get powder to stick. Uh, basically, it's a metal plate underneath. It's great in a Faraday area, which is basically an overcharged area when the particle goes in there. It, it doesn't, it's so charged and there's so much going on, it wants to bounce back out. So any corners, anything like that, you'll struggle with. Um, with a little practice, so you'll start to figure out how to get those areas covered better and better. Um, and we'll get into more of that a little further down the road. We've got an area back here that's jumping power off. And the other problem is you're pushing the power out with air. And if you open your gun up too much, you let too much air out. And it blows your powder around the party. So the powder is going to get you in the right place. A lot of people have different jigs for powder coating. Um, including silicone bases that um, will kind of prevent this from happening. I just always use these racks, um, and they seem to work really good for me uh, to keep the power from going inside the cup. Um, what I'm doing here, I've got my LED flashlight out. I am checking to make sure that everything is covered. You're looking through um, the powder to see if there's any bare metal sticking out. Um, I don't see any, so we should be good to go. So. Basically, we'll pop these in the oven. I've got my household oven going that I showed you in a previous video. Um, it should be at about 400 degrees now, so we'll take this rack, we'll put it in, wait for the part to get to 400 degrees, and then we'll wait for the cure schedule, which on these is 10 minutes. So once they're in there for 10 minutes, we'll bring them out, let them cool, and show you another video of what they kind of look like and how we finish them off so that we can sell them to the customer. As always, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments and we'll get to them as we can. Uh, again, please do subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Thank you.